okay. I, um, I don't like doing intros, you guys know that, but please stick through me with this on this one intro because it's very important to me and it's important for this video because this is a great video. There's a lot of fun that goes on in this video, but there's also a, a dark side of this video that I, I want to talk to you guys before we get into it. Um, first and foremost, this is a little bit older footage that I've been str I've been struggling to edit this uh, for a couple weeks now, and I'll go into why in just a second. But preemptively, this is before the Corvette was wrapped, before we installed the exhaust on it, uh, before I swapped the wheels on it. So this is this is a couple weeks old, maybe a month old, and uh, I just want to go into that knowing that ahead of time, so you guys aren't like, whoa, when did when do you unwrap it? it? It's not that I unwrapped it. It's not that we took the wheels off or the exhaust off or anything like that. It's just it's just slightly older footage, and it's it's the day that we went up to record. Uh, Justin's Omega build. Truly awesome and epic build and we, we filmed this video with Killboy that was magical and like I've linked it off in the description. I think it's awesome. I'd really appreciate it if you guys checked it out. Um, but during this day we met a young man by the name of Luke. Luke approached us on the top of the lookout on his SV650 in full leathers. Young young man, 17 to 18 years old maybe. He, he walked up to me he was like I know you guys. I know I know Dude with Dan. I know Rap Life. I know Justin. I, I know you guys. At first he was a little shy, but like the more we talked to him, like the easier it became. And I let him know what we were doing. I said, we're up here filming today and we're going to be moving from spot to spot all around the mountain. We got to run, but um, if you'd like to join us, you're more than welcome to. As long as you know that we're going to be going down the, the mountain and stopping a bunch and taking videos and stuff like that. But please join us. Have, please have a good time with us. And he did. He joined us through the whole day. Up and down the mountain a dozen times. And I have all this awesome video footage of him slayed the dragon that day. Um, I've never seen anybody ride an SV650 like this in my life. He, he, every turn he was dragging knee and elbow, full sparks flying up from the bike. And I recorded for him. I told him I was going to record it and put it on the YouTube channel for him. Um, because that's, that's just what I do. That's what I, I like to do. When I, when I meet people, I love to give them the opportunity to be on the channel. Especially if, if they like the channel. You know, if they're fans of the channel, like, I love that. So I spent all day recording stuff with Justin and with Luke. We all had a great time and we all went home and had a safe afternoon, right? And at the end of the day, um, we said our goodbyes, we all went home, we all went our separate ways, and, and it was the end of an awesome day. However, about a week later on Tale of the Dragon, um, Luke was involved in a head-on collision and lost his life. I don't know the details, I'm not sure that I really care about the details other than the fact that um, someone who I considered a friend of mine uh, died. He, he passed away that day on the road. And that's why I've struggled so hard editing this video is because um, I just haven't had an idea of how to go about this because um, A, I, we had conversations about it, I told him I was going to put him on the channel. I wanted to, I really wanted to, but the other part of me struggles with it because um, a, I, I don't know his family's opinions. I don't know if that's something that they would want to see. You know, if I, if I died on a motorcycle, I'm not sure my parents would want to see videos of me on YouTube getting it. Does that make sense? At the same time, I haven't been able to get in contact with Luke's family. I've tried a couple of times. If there's one thing that I've learned about us, us, who we are as people, um, my family, my family, um, that's how we. That's how we're remembered. That's that's how we pay tribute, and that's that's what this intro is for me. Is I'm I'm paying tribute to Luke. I want to remember him, and I want to remember this day. And I've thought really long and hard about how to do this. And every time I've tried to edit it, I just I, I get to the points in the video that he's in, and I have to I have to freaking stop because it's like it just it messed me up so bad. I I don't know if it's the fact that he was such a young talented writer or if the fact that like I could see myself in the kid's face I'm not I'm not sure which one it was it might have been everything but it, it's been really hard for me to kind of overcome that and uh, it's and it sucks man it's it sucks when we lose somebody you know it's especially if it's someone who's doing what they love or, or doing what we love or it doesn't make it any easier so in the sake of good taste I've, I've battled myself and I apologize if you guys don't think this is the right play um, but I, I wanted to include the video footage with Luke because he was a very brilliant writer. Very smart kid, very talented writer, incredibly humble. And I wanted to, to pay respect to him in a way that I knew I could because at the end of this day, everyone went home happy. You know what I'm saying? This was, this was an awesome day for everybody. Justin, Luke, and I, we all got to like hang out and talk and in, enjoy each other's company on the last time that I'd see him which I think is, is arguably the best way to have ended a trip like that. So there's footage of Luke in here um, that I've included to 
that I've included for a couple of reasons, which, which my only goal in including that footage is to A, pay respect, and B, keep my promise to him. I know this intro has been all over the place and I'm having a very hard time like finding the, the way I want to articulate it to you guys so I can convey it, but I don't think I'm going to. So here's what I'm gonna do. I want the rest of this video to feel happy. I want you guys to watch the rest of this video and be like, this was an awesome time. I'm so happy that, that we got to have, because that's how I feel about this. I want you guys to enjoy this video. Most importantly, I want you guys to be safe. Now that that really sad and awful intro is out of the way, I hope you guys can enjoy the video. Top of the morning to you, laddies. That's not who I am. We can't be saying that. First of all, look at everything. I mean, I have everything. I've got both DJI drones. I got all my camera equipment, multiple lenses, multiple cards. I got my gimbal. Look how good of a boy I am. I have this gimbal that I never use because it's always missing parts, but I found the parts, so everything's great there. iPods, fucking batteries. I am never, and I do mean never, this put together. Oh yeah, also, doors go up. Love those. Water bottle one, Wabba two. Truck, hi, wait, hold on. Hey, hi. I'm gonna go ahead and get on the road. Today's gonna be a really long day. Actually dropping it off today. I ain't doing nothing. Normally I record, but this is my ride today. Cause Justin and I are going to freaking Tennessee to go do hood rat shit. We're gonna do some epic shit today, aren't we? We're gonna do some legendary shit today. Absolutely intense. God damn. I get it. Let's go fucking do some cool shit, man. illegal but it's all right Justin just got recognized immediately at the first gas station we saw hey you guys are that guys for the fastest car right all right what's going on like Obviously, I just dropped the Corvette off to get wrapped, and I'm not there. That's absurd. I never do that. I'm always hanging out with the dudes, you know, bugging the shit out of them, really being aggravating. It's my favorite thing. Justin was like, hey, dude, listen, I've got this camera car uh, rented out on Tail of the Dragon all day today between, I think, basically between like noon and nine or something like that, designed to just do that, get foot video footage and camera footage and all this other shit, and Justin and I have been working on this really big project. We haven't started hardcore on it, but it's what we've been working on. And I'm I'm really excited because today we got some like real filming to do. So yeah, we're end up to tail the dragon to not only potentially bust a world record, but to also but to also get footage for our project. Being the cameraman ain't always easy. Gotta get this camera out, and then the dildo grip. You gotta get the dildo grip. Hey man, you do what you gotta do, right? I just realized that he's done have his fucking plate on. 
On a side note, while I'm thinking about it, I think getting walkie-talkies was probably the biggest upgrade that we've ever made for like safety and communication and uh, just making all the right steps with that, man. I've always felt like the second Justin and I were like, yo, let's get some walkie-talkies, it completely changed the way we do stuff and the way we go about operating when it comes to doing these kind of videos and stuff. Because, you know, we're not like other YouTubers with a big production team who has a bunch of safety nets and stuff like that. Like, we, we take our safety precautions, but like, it's us doing the shit. And it's just different, man. It's, it's just completely different. We be in the sketchy shit. I have to really tone it down because of legal reasons sometimes, which sucks, cause like, man, if you guys could experience some of the shit that we did or that we do, fuck me. <laughs> oh man, there's a lot of times where Justin and I will be sitting there editing a video or like getting ready to post something we like, we can't post that. We can't include that in the video. <laughs> There's so many times we'll have to be like, ah, cut that out. We're gonna, we're gonna get a phone call, or we're gonna get, uh, we're gonna get a visit from that. So we need to, uh, we need to not put that in the video. <laughs> I love being the support. All right, we all better. Bro, I am empty. Let us roll. Let me just back up this big ass truck. Don't mind me. Good fuck, man. You know I don't drool over other people's cars that often, but. Just fucking A, right? Yeah, you gotta go over sideways, big man. Man, I always love coming up here because it's like, you find the craziest shit in front of people's houses, you know? We just saw a damn tanning bed on a church's front porch. You cannot make that up. And Jesus said, get you a tan. For only $29.99 a month, get your tan on. Praise Jesus. Every now and again, you know, you get on these mountain roads and you'll find the locals who know how to drive them. That's always nice, man. I like it when people keep a good pace. They got a little bit of a head start on me. I, didn't get, I got to fucking. Oh, my card's getting wrapped. I gotta bring the truck. Ironic, huh? Huh? That truck be driving, man. Yeah. That truck bad. Bad. Yeah. What's up, Dan? Hello, how's it going, brother? Nice, nice to meet you, man. Dan. Uh, do you know I'm gonna come that way? You do Spur 60 and all that? Do Murphy? Yeah, yeah. Uh, we do too. They're doing some, some shots. I'm trying to stay out the back. Man, what I wouldn't give to be out on the water today. Fuck, that looks so good. Man, that's, that 392 is fucking loud, bro. On a side note, they just finally got a tripe to pull over and let them around. And then maybe like a tenth of the mile behind them was another trike. Hilarious. Tapa Coco, baby, what's up? Mi familia! This place is dope. So, we have Killboy here out here recording Justin's stuff. They got, it looks like a, I believe that's an ADD. I think they're both running ADDs on their cameras. Nice DSLRs, man. I got my little bullshit cameras out here today too. Everywhere he stops, man, there's people looking at the car, taking photos of it. It's hilarious. Oh, look, a build. This is a uh, an RV conversion. Nice. I don't know if it was related, 
but like the first time he gets did a flyby, this kid started screaming. He was like, ah! like hollering, yeah. fucking crying like a little baby. Gosh, <laughs> fucking like grow up. I don't know how you do it. Think about it, and it would just be the dumbest looking expression. And I'm, he's like, you had to post that one. He doesn't really, check. He just he snaps look. and then uploads it. But go look at every single photo of me on Justin's page and tell me it's not the worst photo of me <laughs> you've ever seen. It doesn't matter which one. Like there was the one you posted next to the Corvette where I'm like, or you remember when I bought the Camaro? Yeah. Yeah, they were all like that. Now I now I just don't know about that spot right there. That's pretty rad right there. It's almost like that. God dang! Is that one of them goddamn Lam Lamborghinis? Lamborghini Panaguays. Yeah, it's a Lamborghini urine. I have uh I have made myself at home with all of my gear. Oh, my trunk is your help. Killboy's camera car, bro. That's a setup. I have to, I'm the odd man out. I gotta be, I gotta be left behind. Now during this part, we'll sit way back. Uh, me and Showbutt are sitting way back here while uh, Justin and them go up ahead. We're basically just to make sure that nobody runs up on them while they're filming because they're gonna be going at all kinds of speeds, fast and slow to get the shots that they need. So our goal is to block and also look not suspicious because uh, a black charger doesn't really come up too well in the background. A white dually, on the other hand, sticks out like a sore thumb. Best thing about cruising on these back roads is being in a big ass dually, barely fitting between the lines. They're they're a good bit ahead. It's kind of hard to keep up in a big ass truck like this. But you know, it, it actually does pretty good. It's like that extra wheel on either side really keeps that rear end planted. It's hard for you to lose control. I mean, it's a Ford and all that, but it's so damn smooth. Especially not trying to cross any double yellows here. Seeing how there could be bikes around every corner. Man, everywhere we go. Oh, look at these guys. They're like 15 yinlings just hanging out. Everyone's talking about these cars everywhere they go. Badass. Just a bunch of rattling, no big deal. Man, this exhaust brake makes this nice. I'm gonna sound ridiculous, man, but I turned on the exhaust brake and just let the engine do the braking now. I don't even have to touch the brakes. Maybe diesels are best for doing mountain runs. Holy fuck. This truck soars here, buddy. She freaking soars. Yeah, at the last place that we pulled over at, Justin's like, buddy, I'm so sorry you gotta drive my truck everywhere. And I was like, you know, I mean, I'm missing out on the fun driving with the with the Corvette, but it's gonna be rapping a little bit. Plus, I still get to have fun and record. Good golly, Miss Molly. This place is fucking beautiful. Well, mind me getting back in my big fucking truck that I'm driving today. This is how I'm walking. I love big truck. Big truck good. Big truck no good for driving fast. Big truck only good for towing. Fast. I've already lost him. Zing! Woo! See what I mean about bikes being around every corner? You can't be hanging out on these yellow lines, even though you're a big truck and you really want to. When you and your best friend go down to the lake to, to share a moment together, don't you just love it, Justin? Yeah. That's my fucking spot. Normally it's with Danielle, but I can't clear the fucking water. I thought you were gonna say, look at all the duck shit. All right, come on, hit them. How many skips? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Holy oh, shit! That's not 12? It was the rock. I, I stopped counting after like seven, yeah. so. <laughs> oh, it really petered out. That first skip was great. One. <laughs> hit him with a skipper. One. Damn, dude. That was like. Nine. Seven, three, one. Seven or nine. 
Two? Oh shit, that one went underwater. <laughs> <laughs> it went underwater and came back out. All right, you ain't ready for this one, all right? Oh shit. Eight, baby. <laughs> Come on, Skipper. Ah. He got cock block, rock blocked. Cock block. <laughs> Yo, it's all about the, it's all about that skip. Damn. That, you got the prettiest one. I don't have the number. I, I got the sexual, the sex, the sexual skips, baby. Oh, wait, what are you gonna do? That one wins. This done That's the distance. Before. That out of distance. We got fucked. <laughs> I think out of the gate. Yeah, we got wrecked. Something about three grown ass men hanging out, fucking skipping rocks in supercars. <laughs> Don't mind us. Man, we got done doing some epic drone shots. And I'll tell you what, man, it's been real, it's been real interesting working with Killboy. Killboy and Justin are good friends. I mean, I think everybody who rides motorcycles, Ben Taylor Dragon, knows exactly who Killboy is. But it's really freaking awesome being able to, like, be on their home turf and be so welcome and invited to make content. Very humble and very nice people to work with. Boy, are they showing us the secrets. Secrets that I'm not gonna post on video because I'm not giving those, no I hit a butterfly, fuck! and slow, narrow and sharp. Let it be known I have not crossed the double yellow, not fucking once. I can't keep up with you, you fucking dick. I feel like Scott, I feel like Chuckles Garage in this bitch with my diesel truck. What is this, Pikes Peak, baby, come on. at the tail. Big old truck doing big truck stuff. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you, pussy. Hey, Justin. C8 suck. Look at this old bird dog. You come here. You come <laughs> here. You freaking good old person. What's up, bro? How, How you doing, doing, man? It's good to see you. How'd you, see how'd you like the fucking uh, husky? That thing's scary, isn't it? It's awesome. It's actually made for this. You do any wheelies on it? Ah, nah. It wants to wheelie, doesn't it? It does, but man, it's just all about the cornering, really. Big I spooky. Just... Hey, we've had a bunch of CH show up. We got a red one, then we got, we got an orange one over there, and we got a black one. And a, oh, there's a white one and a red one. So there's four C8s here right now. None of their doors go up. What a shame. Justin's looking super swagged. I'm doing three things with one hand. Oh, come on. Come on, for the children? <laughs> for the children? Grown ass man excited about butterflies. You know, there was this big rumor going around for a long time on the internet that I was an asshole. FaceTiming. Zach Warland. What's up, buddy? <laughs> put, those, put those glasses back on. Who the fuck is that? Oh, we pulled over for that guy earlier. He was cooking. That guy's fucking getting it. I'm gonna have to put that dude in my video. He's going so fucking sideways. Man, how do you ride that thing with your big ass balls? <laughs> Bro, you came out here literally scraping the whole side of your bike on that one turn. That was fucking nuts. Uh, I was down the road. Yeah, okay, now you're, now you're being humble because the camera's on you. So man, we keep running across this dude on SV. 
Hey, that car's slow as fuck! <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I just got away with that, saying that to Justin. Right? The number you have reached is no longer in service. He's... There's no one here but me. He wants you to make me throw it, but please don't do that. He says he's not gonna do it. came across I say we randomly came across he came up to me and said what's up uh, but he I guess he knows he knows my channel and he's on this SV650 right in full leathers and he, he's a little timid when he walks up to me he's like hey you're doing Dan I was like hey what's up and we hung out and talked for a second then we went and did the thing up the road and then he comes barreling by us on his SV doing like I like 80 in a turn dragging the whole side of his bike and body on the con on the on the, the black tar or whatever this is the, the tarmac I, I can't believe how fucking fast this guy is on, especially on an SV650. Yeah, we need to get this guy's info and, and put him on a super bike. Yeah. He just went around us on his SV. Look, he's gone already. Keep up with him. Go as fast as you can. I don't know if you're going to keep up with this guy. He's fast as fuck. Private motherfucker! <laughs> Jesus Christ, get me out of this thing! <laughs> Damn! Woo! Oh my god! As the famous world words of Molly Crew, get me the fuck off this planet. Oh my god! That shit is that Yeah. <laughs> Scooter gang. <laughs> Fucking A. I was not ready to do that, but I was like, we can't let this guy walk away from us. Oh Man, that shit was fast. I cannot believe how this car is set up. It's not even a Hellcat, it's a fucking 6.4. Yo, that thing's got such a linear torque curve. The power delivery is awesome. The brakes are great. Those slotted rotors help you a lot, I'm sure. The way you be driving. <laughs> All right, good, I need a break. Still in it. Man, when you find this video, dude, let me tell you how much I have respect for you on that bike. I, I hope you know that old dude with Dan thinks that you're fucking cool. Not that my opinion matters to anybody or anything, but good fuck. <laughs> I saw when you came around the corner and the whole thing sparked up. I was like, that guy is just fucking going, bro. 